Hey, I'm Numbered. And I'm Sarge. And you're watching Battle Gamer News. Today we're reviewing Wolfenstein. In Wolfenstein, you play as BJ Blazkowicz, and it's your job to take down the Nazi paranormal division in a town called Eisenstadt. A high-up Nazi general, Heinrich Himmler, has combined Nazi technology with magic from an occult group known as the Black Sun. Naturally, the advantage the Nazis would be in with magic would be enormous, so you have to figure out what's going on and how to stop it. The plot is mostly told through a few cutscenes and some dialogue, but if you're not the thinking type, there is a mission wrap-up at the end of each level summarizing what you did. There are also several intelligence reports you can find throughout the levels that give you insights into what's going on. The plot is fairly well fleshed out, and although it's a bit far-fetched, they do enough to make you care, but it's not the highlight of the game. The graphics in Wolfenstein are incredible. Everything looks detailed and realistic. They did exceptionally well with the lighting effects, which give the game a good sense of atmosphere. There are some areas that don't look as good, like some of the textures and the facial animations, but generally that is outshadowed. The particle effects and explosions look pretty good, which is good because they're used frequently throughout the game. The AI was a little annoying at times. The AI characters were good at knowing when to use grenades, get in cover, or attack when you're reloading, but there's more than a few times when the enemy will simply jump out right in front of you, asking to be shot. The gameplay is fairly typical of most first-person shooters. You run around from objective to objective, killing Nazis. There are a few good puzzles in the game that require you to use your magical abilities, adding variety to the game. The game is set up similarly to an open world game, but it doesn't quite go all the way. You can walk around freely going to the shop or mission locations, but all of the missions take place outside of the main map in an isolated area, which makes me wonder if the city is really just an elaborate menu. There are a variety of guns to choose from, either from World War II or a few more interesting science fiction style guns. All of the guns can be upgraded for a fee at the black market, allowing you to pick a few guns to specialize in. Later in the game, there will be a few boss fights, which is a rarity in most first-person shooters. All the boss fights are well done, but a little more strategy in them would have been nice. There's also a nice multiplayer mode, but it's really more of a tack-on than an actual focus of the game. The multiplayer has all the regular modes, but it does stand out a little bit by having a three-class system, not to mention all of the upgrades you can buy with the cash you earn by playing. The classes add a bit of depth to the gameplay, but all in all, the multiplayer takes a backseat to the single-player campaign. Overall, I really liked Wolfenstein. It did everything it was supposed to, and I was really impressed with the graphics, so I'm going to give it a great 9 out of 10. I liked Wolfenstein as well. I thought I got points on originality, and I liked the customization of the weapons. That's why I'm giving it an excellent 9 out of 10. Looks like we're giving Wolfenstein a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching Battle Gamer News. Subscribe and check back every week for more game reviews. Ha, 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 ha.